Welcome back to another Win Win Wednesday Week 106. Now, with everything that's been going on phenomenally and great, happy, just the best things, the best weeks ever, I want to talk about some of the variables that lead to the success, the constant good things that happen in people's lives, and why they're happening. When I talk to most of my successful friends, we're talking about why things are happening, why they're good. We don't just think about luck. We don't think about just, you know, it just it just happened for no reason. What we believe in a lot of times is good things happen at right times because when you fully commit to something, when you fully commit mind, body, soul, heart, just every single aspect of your life to a dream, to a goal, to whatever it is that you're setting out to do, the universe wants to help provide that for you. But the other variable is your mind has to be right because I'm so huge into that arrow of life, the law of attraction, the universe. What you put out is going to be absorbed by the universe and then recoil back to you. So if you're putting out negative, pessimistic, doubtful, just you know, not good vibes, that's going to come back to you. And the other things that are happening in your life are going to happen that way. So when you're putting out good stuff, great things are going to be happening when they're coming back to you. I've been having so many amazing things happening to me. And it's because, like I'm here, I fully committed to making this dream a reality and this dream possible. And there are things that I can't even imagine that are happening and working. And things are just like separating and getting out of my way and allowing opportunities and new opportunities and just everything just come into my way because of what I'm putting out. When you put out, let's change this. I really want you guys to understand this so bad because this is so huge. You know, it's what you put out is what comes back to you. Start there. It is the biggest, biggest reason to be failing because you're, you're tiptoeing. You're going to say that, hey, I'm putting myself out there. Hey, I'm putting out positivity. But at the same time, the vibes, the auras, the environments... Every single thing about your body is an energy, and what you're putting out cannot be faked. It's like some of you are trying to sugarcoat your energies and your deep down feelings. When you feel something right in your gut, and you follow that with every single one of your passion and your being and every ounce of who you are, you will ultimately win. If you have self-doubt, if you have this pessimistic, like it's not going to work, it's not good enough, you know, but you put on that fake smile, you're like, hey, this is going to work. It won't. It won't. It won't work to the scale, the bigness, the getting stuff out of your way and allowing things to come into your life and opportunities to happen the way you want it to. Yes, there are times I doubt myself. So we're not going to talk about that. I doubt myself on a surface level. But the reason I keep pushing is because I'm driven by my vision and I am pushed by my passion. And that all comes from my gut. That never changes. That foundation, that drive, that never stops. It's just sometimes our psychology, our psychic, will end up, you know, yeah, this is getting a little hard. This is not really working. This is, you know... Maybe we should not do this, this, and that. But you don't because it's what you believe in. And that is when the universe, it just, like I said, it's like water. It gets out of your way. It's law of attraction. And I know so many of this sounds so dumb and stupid and simple and just, you don't do it. But it is those things that matter most that actually impact. And it's those things that when you say, you know, why are all these good things happening to that person? It's like that, that's the reason. You're missing out on that. Like those are huge aspects that are helping somebody become successful. 
and things work out and you're missing the point of what is that person putting out in the universe and taking back because it sounds silly like the you know waking up in the morning looking at the mirror like I tell you look in the mirror okay here it is Wake up in the morning I offer greatness yep Hell yeah I offer greatness I'm gonna take this to the world I'm gonna take it out and show it everything that I got I offer greatness and the world's gonna know it I'm gonna take it out there I'm gonna exploit it I'm gonna take the world for every single last drop of the lemon that it is. I deserve it. I am worthy of it. And I will not stop. And I will not stop growing and attaining and achieving every single day towards that goal until it becomes a reality. Understand that. Please, these are the biggest things that you guys are missing. Patience. It's a confusing subject. You need to have patience. You need to wait. I'm buying 40 acres from my neighbor that I've always wanted. This is my dream of having 40 to 100 acres, you know, within a couple few minutes of me. You know how much, you know how hard that is? You know what? That's not even like a reality. Finally happened. I put a down payment on for him to hold it. I'm not going to be able to take possession of the land for a, up to almost three years. Because he has a business on it and it's until his permit runs out and does that. But I paid him thousands of dollars to hold that land, to secure it as being mine. Mind you, I've been next door neighbors with him for almost four years. He's, I'll tell you, you know, he's grazed, grazed on talking about, you know, the land or selling that. That's how I knew he'd want to sell it and he'd sell it to me, you know, for this price and this, that. But whenever I went to talk about it, he would just, he just didn't want to talk about it. You know, he's always confused on that. But, but the energies weren't right. The vibes weren't right. Like it just, it wasn't right to feel, to push. So I was patient. Years of patience. So what I did, it just, it randomly happened last weekend. And I mean, randomly. I went over there to literally talk to them, just bullshit with them, and actually talk to them about something completely different. However we got on the subject, and it all happened, I don't know. It just randomly happened. And he just came up, and he was like, Talking about the land, he's like, you know, we talked about that and everything. He said, you give me X amount of money, I'll hold it. We'll make out a contract. I'll hold it, and it'll be yours, you know, as soon as the permit ends. I was like, yeah, okay, okay, yeah. Um, then they had a family, a family emergency. But the next morning, I made the contract of that night. I grabbed the money, and I gave it to him the next morning. I secured my, my dream. I secured my success. But it happened with patience. But I also, when the vibes and the ores were right, I hopped on that. And I just I pounced on it. And I took a full advantage of it. Guaranteed, if I would have tried pushing him when he wasn't ready, it probably would have never happened. He probably would have lost, you know, respect for me. It's just, you know, pushing somebody when they don't want to do something and you keep pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and trying to get them to do it, trying to do it and pushing and they're just like, dude, no, stop. That's it. It's where you got to have that patience. But you got to be ready. You got to be ready financially. You got to be ready mentally. You got to be ready physically for whatever opportunity is going to be coming your way at that sign. You got to be ready at every single moment to pounce. It's like with a business opportunity. I have a huge, huge new client that I'm working on out here. I haven't even started and the whole reason that I'm out here. It's because why? Because an opportunity came my way. It came passing by me and it just vibe and everything was right so I had to hop on board. But I had to know my craft, know my skill, know myself, know my vision, know my dream, know where I wanted to go enough to be able to pounce on that opportunity and make something happen when this is completely not what I had planned out. It's life. The greatest analogy I ever heard about life is life is when you go out of your house, 
get to the end of your sidewalk, go to the street, look both ways, no traffic, you start to walk and you get hit by an airplane. That is life. That is business. That is everything. You got to be ready, you know, in the foundations of life. Take all the precautions you can and prep as much as you can. But so much stuff is going to hit you that you're not even ever going to see. You just got to be strong enough and willing enough to get up, keep going. You got to be willing to adapt, change, overcome, go with the flow. Whatever happens, happens. Ready to pounce at any moment on your dreams, on your visions, on that passion that you can make a reality. So please, have patience. But, while you're having patience, you damn, for damn sure, better be getting your stuff together and have everything ready to jump on any opportunity that comes your way that is going to be another stepping stone to your version of a C9 life. So make sure you like, comment, share, get these videos out there. C9 Life is going to impact and change the world and people's mindset and help people grow and build and become everything they've ever wanted to be and have the desire and the belief in themselves to achieve it. Because I, I believe in you more than most of you ever believe in yourself. So please do me the favor of sharing these videos, tagging somebody that needs to see it. It takes a few seconds. I am forever grateful for you guys. Remember, IOG, I offer greatness. TBS, along the way, think, be, stay positive every single day in every way. And until next Wednesday, stay humble, stay hustling. I love you guys.